moored at Evansville, Indiana. This is LST-325. The heart of the LST is its 264-foot-long tank deck. The ship was designed around its cargo. Built to carry 20 Sherman tanks. That's what it's built around. Tanks are in there three abreast, about seven rows out. So they designed this ship basically around that load there. The LST can deliver a whole lot of stuff. Uh, 20 tanks, 30 trucks, and 200 troops. Pick it up in one country, go across the ocean, and uh, land on the beach and deliver all of that stuff without the use of port facilities. That's what was revolutionary about it. LSTs were designed for Allied amphibious landings in World War II. The ship is an unsung hero. It's shaped like a big bathtub with cupboard doors in the front, so it doesn't look like much, but by golly, were they absolutely essential, not only to the Second World War, but at Incheon as well. It took a particular skill to be a skipper of the flat-bottomed vessels. It was a whole new learning curve because for the first time in the history of the world, a ship was built where uh, the captain's paid to take it up on the beach. Usually that's not a good thing. By 1944, LSTs were so essential that D-Day was delayed until enough LSTs were available. This ship held up the largest armada in the history of the world. That's how important the LST was. Prime Minister Churchill of Great Britain. He said if he had to pick one thing that won that war, it would be the LST. The man responsible for the LST was a naval designer named John Niedemeyer. He applied submarine technology to the LST. A sub is equipped with ballast tanks. When the tanks are filled with seawater, the sub sinks. When they are emptied, it surfaces. The LST also needs to rise and fall, increasing or decreasing the amount of the hull under the water. For stability on the ocean, it takes in seawater using 10 huge ballast tanks below the cargo deck, holding over 180,000 gallons. Before hitting the beach, the LST pumps out the ballast tanks, lifting more of the hull above the surface. Pumping water in and out just like a submarine is what we're doing on an LST. 